Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58, the channel that reviews wigs for the mature woman. And welcome back to part four of Winter Wigs and Wardrobe. Today we are focused on personal style. I am wearing Bobbi Boss Irina and here is the care card. She is in the color PLT which is platinum. The color that the model is wearing is T1B644, so hers is dark rooted, mine is not. And this wig also comes in a dark color, other dark colors. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what they are. It's 1B24, then it comes in a 613, FS1B30, FS42730, FS430, and then the two colors I mentioned, the PLT and the dark rooted uh, white wig that she's wearing. So. I have been wanting this wig for a long time. I've been bugging Bobby Boss to death to send it to me. So shout out to them for sending me this wig. Um, and it's not everywhere, ladies. That's the other thing. Um, I only found it on a couple of websites and I will leave that information down in the bottom. It's already there actually. Um, because for some reason it just not did not get a wide distribution. I'm not sure why, but it did not get a wide distribution. I actually think it is fabulous. So let me show you some video of how I approached my styling of this wig. With pixie wigs, you can pretty much make them your own. You can style them any way you want to, but I like this one because the care card says it's an eight inch short and shaggy, and that's kind of the way I wanted to keep it. So I only did a little bit of manipulating on the side. I combed it a little bit, but for the most part, I didn't really do anything to it because I like it the way it is. I don't want to cut it shorter. I don't want to make it like look like perfection because for this pixie wig, that's not the goal. Perfection is not the goal. The goal is to make it look short and shaggy and that's the way this one looks. And you can move the bangs around and everything. So let me show you the back of the hair. Show you the back. Let me see if I can, yeah. I like the back and I'm just gonna stamp a little bit. I like the back because I like the the way it hangs on my neck. Not many pixie wigs do that, and I really like the way this one does that. And I'm gonna give you a close-up on the front too because I want you to see that this hair is not silky. This hair is actually um, a yakky. It really is a yakky um, feel, and that's what I really like about it. I put some hairspray in it to make it lay down a little bit, but honest to goodness, um, if I was to wear this out in another color, I would definitely just muss it up because I think wigs like this, this kind of pixie wig really deserves to be mussed up. It does not need to be perfect and in you know every hair and place and all that stuff because it's a fun wig, it's a fun wig. Um, let me stand up and show you my dress again. I got this dress from a company called No Style and um, it actually comes down below my knee. I have on suede boots, you probably can't see them. But I have on some suede boots and I like that look with this. This is a really stretchy material. It zips all the way down to here, but oh, and you could also zip it all the way up to the top. If you wanted to do that, you know, you could zip it all the way up to the top. So this particular dress, um, like I said, the company is called No Style and it's K-N-O-W Style. And they have a brick and mortar store also called Edge by K-S. And it's not in every state. There are some states who have the, the Edge store and some that do not, but you can still go on their website, No Style, and get um, this outfit. 
Um, I will be showing you another no style dress in another upcoming video too, so I think you're gonna like that one as well. So now, let's talk personal style. For me, an outfit like this would be perfect to go to a costume party if I was trying to dress up like Halle Berry in The Matrix, or X-Men, or whichever one she was in. I don't know whether it was The Matrix or X-Men, it might have been X-Men, but anyway, she had on a white wig and um, some kind of a black and white outfit, and I'm thinking, yeah, this would be a good outfit to wear to a costume party, but, I would not wear this to a dinner party. I would not wear this to go out clubbing with my husband. I would not wear this to a funeral or even a wedding for that matter. So there are certain things with me in terms of personal style and I think with my age I can get away with saying this. There are certain things I'm just not going to wear in certain places and certain things that I don't think are appropriate in certain places. And an outfit like this I would not think is appropriate at a church, you know, wedding, at any kind of a um, religious event for that matter, um, funeral or any of that. I mean, I just wouldn't wear something like that there because it doesn't, to me, it's not It's not respectful. And I really am into respect in my older age. I might not have been when I was younger, but I'm really into respect in my older age. And I just feel like that there are certain things that are inappropriate to wear in, in on certain occasions. Um, like for instance, at a wedding, you want to be as downplayed as possible so that you don't, you know, um, take away the glory from the bride. My mother used to always tell me that, don't dress nicer than the bride. You don't want to dress nicer than the bride, and I always believed that. Um, and yeah, at a funeral, you're not trying to get the attention, you know, like if you were clubbing, you're not trying to get people's attention. At a funeral, it's subdued. So you're not going to wear something like this to a funeral. Um, but your personal style can be, I guess, represented in a lot of other different ways. Um, some people would wear this to a club, you know, some people would, uh, hey, a Mary J. Bly's video this would be perfect for <laughs> or something like that. But personal style definitely is um, in the eye of the beholder and personal style is a matter of everyone's taste and no one really should, um, I guess, encroach on other people's desire to wear certain things. Um, but for me personally, there are just certain things that I would not do and one of them would be to not wear this outfit out in public unless I was going to a costume party. Um, yeah, but like I said, it's different for everybody and I'm 62 years old so I can say what I want. <laughs> so um, the other thing about personal style too is that in some instances you want to make sure that you're not bringing undue attention to yourself um, from others that you don't want. For instance, you don't want to wear something that's going to be so alluring to people who don't have the best of intentions for you. I'm just saying that there are certain levels that we have to consider when we're you know, trying to, I guess, um, parade, show our personal style to others. I think you just have to consider a lot of factors when you decide to do that. So that's just, hey, like I said, that's mama night talk and that's me. <laughs> that's my, that's my um, older woman's advice, you know, to younger women, you know, just be careful, you know, do what you want, enjoy yourself, look pretty, but just be careful. Be mindful, I guess is what I'm saying, is be mindful of what you're wearing is going to do in terms of attracting the wrong kind of attention, right? Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm off my soapbox for that one. Anyway, ladies, I still love this wig, and I do intend to get it in another color. I'm probably going to get it in, um, I think I might either get it in the 4, or I might get it in the 430. I think it would look nice in a 4 or 430, but I'm sure it would look in, you know, it looks nice on her in the, I think she's got on a 4. It looks like she's got a 4 on in this picture. Oh no, it says it's a 1B. Well, that, that's an awful light 1B to me. Anyway, it says it's a 1B, so I guess that's what it is. But anyway, this is Bobby Boss Arena, and like I said, she's not everywhere, so I will link um, to the website that I know has the wig, and I can't guarantee what colors they have, but they definitely have it. Um, I was surprised that places like uh, Sam's and Elevate Styles and Wig Types did not get this wig, but they did not. So, um, I, I have the link of where you can actually get it. And again, the dress is no style, and I will put that link down in the description for you. I am wearing... Um, just some white eyeshadow with the gray crease and just some nude lipstick, no particular kind. Um, actually, I think that this is a combination of a NYX, um, I think I have a NYX um, butter buttercream, I think I have a NYX buttercream lippy on and the actual lipstick below that is a color from um, Maybelline. Uh, yeah, 
super stay. Yeah, it's Maybelline super stay. Anyway, like I said, I'll put all the information down in the description section. Thank you ladies so much for joining me for episode four. Please continue to watch. I've got four more episodes coming <laughs> with different uh, YouTubers that I'm collabing with and we're just going to have a good time here. So uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscription button and that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And as I always say, ladies, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good and of course, so are you. See you next time.